What's up guys, this is Oddsar here and I'm bringing you guys my IBA draft analysis and yes it is finally here, IBA season number 4 is up and running. This video actually should have been uh, up on Saturday but I had some stuff going on and it's finally out now. So this is my IBA draft analysis like I said and uh, just, just uh, this is going to be a great season. We have a ton of great coaches here and I just can't wait to... Uh, get through this season and this is probably one of my favorite drafts I've gotten so far but let's just jump right on into this uh, draft analysis I'm a tad sick so if you hear me cough or anything I do apologize but uh, I can't really help it too much so uh, let's just get right on into the draft analysis so I was picked number three in my uh, league uh, <clears throat> I was picked number three so uh, I was able to pick something pretty pretty decent and uh, I do believe, I want to check to see what was the first thing. First thing was Coco that was taken, and then I do believe that um, either Magirna or something like that got taken. I want to check really quickly because it's been a while since the draft itself. But uh, my overall first pick was Naga Nadell. So I, I did end up picking Naga, Naga Nadell. It was a nosy moves. I uh, like I can't use Z moves on it, but it was 19 points, the most expensive thing. And this is a points draft, by the way, if I didn't mention that already. So uh, the let me actually go back a second. The first uh, first round pick was Mega Latias, and then the second round was Nagana Dell. <clears throat> so or the first one was Elias Coco, the Nagana Dell, which is me, and then Miggy and I went right after. So I had a f I had a few good things to uh, choose from. I could have chose Naga, Magirna, Lele, pretty much any, any anything like that. Celestilos, <clears throat> something like that. But I ended up choosing Nagana Dell. I wanted to try it for myself, and I wanted to see how good or bad it was. I in another league I am, the PCL, someone has Naga Nadell with no Z moves, and uh, they haven't been doing too well with it. I wanted to try it myself, and uh, uh, the, that's basically it. I wanted to see how well it does, and it's a mod that I have never used and probably will never get to use again, so it gives me a good opportunity to at least try this mod out. And uh, with gr great speed at 121, a great special attack, and then boost boost, which is arguably one of the best abilities in the game. So I just can't wait to um, use it. So let's go on to my next pick. I had to wait a while because I was pick number three, went you know all the way back up, all the way down, and then all the way back up to me. I was able to get Diancy. Diancy is a mega that I want to use for a while. It might not work the best with Naga Nadell, but I I, I think it will uh, help uh, help me a lot. I'll, I have my dragon, I have my fairy. My fairy can be more of a cleric, kinda. It can be very offensive, can be somewhat defensive because it does have different ability, uh, different um, moves. Like uh, it can be a cleric, stuff like that. It's just a great overall mon. It has stealth rocks as well. And it's just a mon I've been wanting to use a while. And with base 110 speed, I can't go wrong with that. And uh, I'm just trying to move uh, through this a little bit because. Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble talking. There's uh, my throat's sore. So, anyways, uh, let's go on to my third pick, which is uh, Zapdos. So I ended up going with Zapdos for my third pick. I wanted a fast Electro type. I was debating between a few. Actually, I was thinking maybe Raikou, possibly Jolteon as an option. I was also I, I wasn't exactly sure what uh, ground type I was or electric type I was wanting. I was wanting something that wasn't a weak to uh, ground because Naga's weak to uh, ground types uh, and um, and um, uh, same with um, what, what my Diancy is weak to ground as well. So giving uh, me something that is uh, not weak to ground with which is still an electric type was very very nice. I was thinking Rotom Wash as well, but I wanted a different water type, so I wasn't really sure. But I ended up going with Zapdos, and uh, this is going to be a great addition to my team. I haven't really used Zapdos a whole lot, but I have been wanting to use it for a long time. Uh, use use it again, uh, so uh, I can't wait for that. And my uh, next pick is uh, going to be Crocodile. So Crocodile is my next pick. It was a a ground type and a dark type help um, patch up a few weaknesses with uh, Naga, and it gives me another rocker, another uh, great dark type helps with a lot of psychic types, and uh, it's pretty bulky, so it will most likely be able to take like a focus blaster or something 
like that to actually not really it's, yeah i mean it could with a chopple berry or some type of uh investment within it so i can uh, uh take a decent amount of hits and then dish out a number of hits with uh with knockoff with earthquake with um pretty much anything it wants to throw at you it's a great uh mon and um I can't wait to, to use it. I uh, wanted to pick this up because it does uh, go pretty quickly, and I didn't want to uh, get sniped of it. Uh, this was also the pick I was thinking about getting Milotic. I had a chance of getting Milotic this turn, but I ended up going with Crocodile, and if Milotic came back to me, I would have picked that up next turn, but it ended up Davion uh, picked it up um, with the wheel. So that's unfortunate, but I ended up getting Crocodile, and I did not want to get sniped of it. My next round pick is... A uh, fighting steel type, which is Cobalion. Cobalion. I was really wanting to use uh, uh, this, uh, use it here as well. I I haven't really used it before. The the only problem with this is I do have my um, a, a few weaknesses to uh, psychic, which will have to get patched up later. But that uh, is definitely a uh, problem with this team because I do have two Pokemon that are pretty weak to Psychic, and then I have Diancie, and I have a decent ground weakness as well, which I do have to patch up uh, as well. So let's just get on into my next pick with uh, that being Delmize. Delmize is a great grass type. I've really wanted to use Delmize again. I haven't used it in a few uh, in a while, and uh, Delmize is a great rapid spinner. Uh, it has reliable recovery with Synthesis, and uh, just a great assault vest user as well, so I, I can't wait to use it. And uh, Delmize was my number sixth pick, and let's just go on to my number seven, which is Suicune. Suicune was still around at uh, the seventh round, which was super surprising to me. Honestly, a lot of the water types were going, and Suicune was just sitting there. And uh, I, I can't be more happy with grabbing Suicune. I was debating between a, two, a couple of wire types, and I ultimately went with Suicune because it has great defenses. The only thing that's lacking is reliable recovery, but it does have rest. And then sleep talk as well. Maybe a uh, Chesto Berry to put on sleep. It, it, it just is a great bulky mon, and I can't wait to use it. So let's just go on to my eighth pick and that is necrozma yes necrozma was still around uh, around as well i used a, a bulk of my points at the end with a uh, suicune and uh necrozma at this point I only had about seven left for two more picks or i could kind of stop here but i wanted a couple more picks and uh after after necrozma was still around great setup mon just a great overall mon it can be defensive offensive pretty much any any uh, set you want to run, it can run. It's uh, pretty similar to Reuniclus in that way. I was actually wanting Reuniclus, but Nick uh, got it a little bit earlier in the draft, around uh, seven, actually. I think, uh, actually, no, round eight, Nick picked it up, and then he picked it up when it was coming back to me. But, oh, well, I can, what, what can you do? I can't get uh, Reuniclus. I would have had a few more points for uh, another mon I was thinking. But I... Uh, uh, but I really do like uh, Necrozma. I can't wait to use it. I haven't had a lot of experience with it, but I do love my bulky setup mon, so I can't wait for. I um, can't wait to use it. And uh, let's go on to my ninth pick here, and that is Rapidash. So uh, if you know me, I I like my Rapid. Uh, I like my Fire Horse. Okay, uh, this is a, a great mon in a, a lot of respects. It has a really decent speed stat at 105. And it has a pretty decent attack set at 100. So it's no slouch, but it has a wide range of coverage moves for it. So it gets uh, different stuff like a, um, like a, it gets a high horsepower. It gets uh, fire coverage, of course, with a flare blitz. It gets uh, dark coverage with um, uh, what, uh, what 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 is that called? It uh, gets dark coverage for. Um, uh, that uh, re removes um, or uh, you c cancel out sound based attacks. Um, that's what, what is that called? It's um, I'm not exactly sure. Give me a quick second. But it, it gets a lot of different coverage. It gets ground electric coverage with wild charge and um, 
it, it just gets a wide range of moves that you wouldn't necessarily expect with Rapidash, but it's a great mon and it was only three points, so I think it's well worth the uh, points. Um, let me just uh, come in here. Um, like I said, it gets high horsepower, it gets mega horn, gets low kick, poison jab, uh, willow, like I or, or wild charge, like I said. Um, flame wheel, it gets. Um, what, what is the uh, move uh, that allows you to get plus one speed? Flame charge, it um, it gets high horsepower, like I said. It gets iron tail. It gets solar beam if you want to run like a special set. That could be very interesting. It gets throat chop. That's what was throat chop. And uh, just with all that different coverage, I uh, really wanted to pick it up. And I haven't I haven't used it since the very first league I picked it. Uh, very first league I was in. But uh, I've rambled on enough about this uh, rapid dash here, and let's go on to my final mon, which is Audino or Oddino, like I like I like to name it. But um, yeah, Oddino uh, is a great uh, four-point mon. I really fell in love with it in uh, PCL. I, um, I no, wait, was it PCL? It, it was another league I had Audino in, and it just it eats hits. A uh, nice wish passer, which really helps my team a lot with um, getting initiative, initiative in. It's a very nice cleric. I need a cleric for this team. I know that uh, Diancy can have cleric moves, but most likely it's going to be running offensive type of a moves, and it just uh, it, and it just allows it to run more offensive sets. And uh, if I need to run heal belt on Diancy, I definitely can, but it will be more of a job of Audino. And uh, honestly, I really do love this mon. It's like I said, great special bulk, great physical bulk, and uh, having wish and uh, protect with heal bell and many more different moves. I just can't wait to use it again this season. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up short. I'm having a hard time speaking. And um, I think this will end my draft analysis. You'll see my week one game up on Saturday. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys do enjoy. All the coaches' links will be down in the description below. And I'll see you guys Saturday. Later. <laughs>